Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to my editing suite. Um, so let's just say you open a project and the first thing you get is this wonderful, amazing media offline symbol that we all love to see so much. It definitely sucks to see, but don't worry. I'm going to show you how to fix this and get your projects back online. So there's a couple of different things that could have caused it. But first off top, I'm just going to show you how to get things relinked. Sometimes what I will do is if I know what's going on, going on in the project, but if I'm if I don't know, I will right click and hit uh, on the one of the files that's missing. So let's just say this one doesn't be together. Uh, find a media pool. And then you come over to your media pool up here and you'll see it highlights this. Something you can do is then um, right click on that video and then go to reveal and finder. And it'll show you where it where DaVinci Resolve basically last remembers this uh, file being. And I see that it was in my downloads and I know that I moved it. So that's why it you know got uh, disconnected from it. So all I'm going to do is basically repoint DaVinci Resolve to where this file now exists. Um, I also know that all of these files would be in the same place. So I'm just going to highlight those. I don't even think I have to highlight them now. Yeah, then we'll just go relink clips for Ben. That's right. Um, so for all those clips that are missing, I'm going to relink them and tell DaVinci Resolve where it is because I know where I have them at. Uh, just by Zell. So I'm going to go to editing business. Here we go. So I know that the files are in here. So I'm just going to hit open and let DaVinci Resolve find them. I don't need to click on the specific one or anything like that. So you see there it found it. So now this clip is now there uh, highlighted and good to go. So right there, you can stop watching here if you want, because <laughs> that's essentially how you do it. All right. So let's talk about some things that could cause this to happen. One of the things uh, that can make this happen is maybe your your hard drive isn't plugged in. So before you start trying to hunt things down, you could say, OK, is the hard drive that these files are pulling from? Is this connected? That's a basic one. But that's the simplest way of fixing it, because you plug that drive back in, you know, you can you don't have to tell DaVinci Resolve where to look for it because it'll find it once it's reckon once you once your computer's recognizing it. Um, another thing that could cause this to happen is if you moved uh, your folder or moved the files to a different folder, which is what I did in this case. It was in my downloads, but then I moved it to another folder on my hard drive. So DaVinci, the, so DaVinci Resolve didn't know where the program, where the files were. Something else that could cause this to happen is uh, even if you have like this, so like um, I told DaVinci Resolve where it looks, so now it knows. But let's say I go to that folder myself and then I want to start organizing things later because this is something that typically can call that could, that could happen if you're not really paying attention. You're like, oh, yeah, let me clean up my files. You know, maybe you want to move them off of one computer to another one. And I'm like, yeah, all these files here, I'm just going to go ahead and grab uh, these because I know that those are some that were in there. I'm going to uh, grab these and be like, I know for a fact that all these were... Um, wedding b-roll clips that I use or something like that. So I'll just say, make a new folder and I'll say, uh, uh, I'll name it wedding b-roll or something like that. Now, when I come back in here, DaVinci Resolve has lost the files again. So it's still showing up because it's recognizing because it, 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 it will still, sometimes it will still show up uh, even if you're seeing even if it's saying offline here, this is what you want to look at. Don't worry. It's just remembering that it was there. But what you want to look for is uh, if you see in your timeline that is red like this, that means it's not recognizing it, even if you see it. Because if I was to close the visual resolve out and come back in, it wouldn't it wouldn't see it there. So as a matter of fact, let me go ahead and save this and close the project. Let's open up something different real quick. All right, now I'm going to go back to that project and you'll see that it has lost them again. Oh, so yeah, moving around. So media offline. It's popping in and up sometimes, but essentially media is offline there. So it's like, okay, not good. Now I have to go back in 
and essentially do the same thing we did before, relink clips for Ben. Uh, and then I'm gonna say, I know I put it here, open. Boom, we're back. Um, that's fine, I don't need to do that. So something else that could cause this to happen is if your files got renamed. This has happened to me before in other projects. And you don't need to find the file and name it again. I'm gonna show you how to basically do it. If you know for a fact that this is the right file, it just has a different name. So let's go to this one, Destined to Be Together. We'll just roll with that, find the media pool. And then I'm gonna right click on it and hit Reveal and Finder. So we're not moving it, we're just gonna change the name of it. This, if you're working with your own stuff, it isn't likely to happen, but let's just say you were working on the project and then you moved it to send it to somebody else to work on it. And for some reason, that person decided to change the name of the thing, of the file, and you got it back and now your stuff's messed up. You know, this is how you would go about relinking it because if you search for it, how I did, DaVinci Resolve is never gonna find it because it's looking for that name. So you can basically tell it Stop looking for that name. Link this new name to it, basically. So I'm gonna name it, uh, let's say for whatever reason they said, uh, wedding from Denzel. I don't know, I'll just think of something to call it. <laughs> so now come back, it has lost it again. And like I told you guys, it's gonna show that it's there. Let me save it. And we're gonna go back and do the same thing again because I don't want you to get confused. I'm just going to a different project so that way I can reopen it and show you that it is offline even though we're still showing it. Okay, so yeah, we see that it is offline. So now everything I showed you before won't work because it's not pointing at that name anymore. So you could, so basically to save you time, you don't have to go in and re-edit it or anything like that. We're gonna find a media pool here, do all this stuff. It's like, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be able to find it. Even if I go to where I know it for a fact that is, it's not gonna be able to find it. See, here I am, I told you about that before. I'm hitting open and I did change the name of it, right? Yeah, it's not gonna find it. I know for a fact that it's in there. It's the same clip, but it doesn't know because the name is different. So what we're gonna do is right click on this clip because we know this is the one that we have the issue with. Instead of doing find the media, like relink and all that stuff, what we're gonna do is go to, um, yeah, instead of coming in here and relink clips and then what we're gonna do is click on the clip itself, click on the clip itself we're going to go to uh, proxy media and then we're going to link full resolution media. Now we're going to go to that folder we, th where we know that it is. Once we're in this folder, now I want to click over here. And I know I changed it to wedding from this. So hit open. And now we just told DaVinci Resolve, this is that. Make this clip that. So we, we replaced it. So now when you look at it, it doesn't say the original name of that file anymore. It changed it to what the file name now is that was they got changed to. So now you see that it says wedding from Denzel. Undo, go back to what it was. We just said we found a new one and just replaced it ourselves. So the cool thing is, it's not like it gets thrown off it still is the same clip, the same part of that clip. The edits are the same. That was a quick little tip. Hopefully that helped. This is how you uh, link media, relink media uh, by, you know, right clicking and hitting through the bin and then using proxy media if it's a completely different uh, name or whatever. This is how you go about doing that. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll try to answer them for you. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe hit the notification bell, leave a like if you found this video helpful, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.